Hello, and in this presentation, what I want to do is to show you how to invoke one of the resources uh, in RESTful Objects in Apache IC. So the resource I'm referring to is the Object Type resource. Uh, the idea of this is to be able to um, create new objects, really, by posting to a particular URL. Um, and here's the details. It's in Section 9 of the RESTful Objects spec, version 1. Um, and the domain type will be the... Will be the, the the class basically that you're going to be uh, instantiating and persisting and we send a post because we're in a sense creating new objects um, in terms of the representation this is the format this can be posted and it's effectively as the note says it's a cut down version of the domain object representation so that's the that's the what the spec says now um by and large or in fact almost entirely the Resources and representations provided by the rest of objects spec um, are fully interconnected. This is a hypermedia API, um, except that the objects for type uh, resource isn't. And you can see this, I'm just highlighting uh, here the um, objects uh, resource um, with a post. You can see there's no real way to get to that. So you have to construct the um, resource yourself. But let me show you what this means in practice. I'm running the simple app. Um, application we've got um, some objects being created here and uh, if I use Chrome uh, to inspect the system then we can see simple objects and uh, list all and call invoke and we see those same three objects so if I look at the representation of one of those objects you can see that we'll ignore the links ignore the extensions that the relevant information is actually what well, we can see easily enough from the um, from the HTML. Uh, just really the name properties, all we really have in the sequence is going to be automatically uh, generated for us. So here are the three members. There's an action which is not important. There's the version sequence that is a property. But again, that's not important because it's actually updated automatically. And name is the one that matters. So what we need to do if we want to create um, programmatically an instance of a new uh, simple object is we need to uh, post something that looks like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first off, I'm going to take that same URL and go to Postman and uh, do a get on this. And um, there's a the pretty format, but here's it in raw format, which is a bit easier just so I can copy stuff out. Let's go to the bit that I need, which is the members. So I'm going to grab all that. Um, I'll take that down to the... In fact, I'll just, just do the name. Be good enough. Let's go to uh, here. So we want to um, create a, a map that's going to contain a members node. Um, the other bits of the representation, which is links and extensions, they're not needed, but we need the members node. Um, here's the first member name. Um, we don't need this. In fact, you know what? The only bit that we're going to need is the value. So um, I can just take all this stuff out. So that is really all I need to do. Um, a new value there, and if there are other properties, you know, then they would go in here, I don't know, like a description, whatever it might be, you get the idea. Okay, but in this particular case, it's only a single member. That's the body that I want to be doing the post. So let me go back to Postman, and um, here's Postman. This time I'm going to be posting to, the, to a different URL, to the um, object and type URL. Um, Let's just remind ourselves where that's coming from. Section 9 of the spec, uh, again, is saying do a post to this URL. So that corresponds to here. It's a post. Um, raw format is going to be here. And uh, there we go. So fingers crossed, let's see what happens if I do send. Um, that seems to have worked, and, and the re resource I get back is uh, is actually the re representation of the object that was just created, um, and uh, I get back also a what am I looking for here? A two hundred. That probably should be a two hundred one actually, but um, we skip over that for now. Let's just do a refresh, 
and uh, we can see there's a new object. Okay, so I hope that made some sort of sense. Um, that's how you go about it. Now, all that said, um, for the next version of RESTful Objects, um, my intention is probably to drop this particular um, uh, resource. Uh, being able to sort of create objects um, from from nowhere really is um, perhaps a bit uh, suspect. Instead, um, I would advise that you create an action, something like uh, create. In fact, really, you could do this. You, a better way to create a simple object would be to invoke this action of the simple objects service. Um, and that's a better uh, approach all round. But anyway, since we um, needed explaining, I hope that made some sort of sense. Thanks. Bye-bye.